Okay, I'm first unpackaging a Z-Boost cellular amplifier. Here's the outside antenna it comes with. Like a loaded section there, a Q section or something. Dual band antenna. I just have it sitting. This is a bracket came with. It must be a nut in the packaging to hold that bracket. It's only, these are uh, F connectors. And that's being mounted to the side of a building, I suspect. So I'm just going to stick it there. Z boost. Okay, plenty of wire. This is a really big, like the RG6 or something. Okay, here's the indoor unit. What do you call that? Z boost. This is the inside antenna. Now you can hang, just hang this on the wall. This would go through the ceiling typically. I'm going to try it here for now. This isn't being used here. I'm going to give you the cell signals. Here's the power supply. This is a refurbished unit. It looks like it's brand new to me. Oh, here's the, here's the nut that goes on the bottom of the thing. Right there. I guess that's what that is. Okay. Uh, I got to mount this onto a trailer, but we'll see what the signal looks like. Going not plugged in to plugged in. Okay, here is my sprint phone. The signal right there is negative 100, okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much holding the negative 100. Here is the AT&T phone. Um, I got simply two bars, but it's 4G, it says. Now it's done one bar. Let's see what happens when we plug it in. Any lights come on or anything? 97, 95. That was a 94. Four times the power. 71. Get back here. Okay, we have 70, a 70 to a a hundred. If that's dB, that is a thousand times as strong. Look at the bars. How about say TNT phone? Holy cow! <laughs> well, I can't, I can't deny, man. It blows me away. I've had no luck with these amplifiers. This is the first one I see with this much wire, and it's kicking ass, man, i tell you that much. I mean, I'm really close to it. But I'm inside of a metal building, so this is, makes it very effective. I mean, these aren't that great outside. I mean, at t is really not that far away, but Sprint, negative 69. 30 dB is... 30 dB, I think, is a thousand, it's a thousand times stronger. If that's DB, it looks like a, th a DB number. That's pretty impressive. Can't deny that. Wow. Well, that's Z-Boost. I'm trying to think, and yeah, this is at home. I have... all bars at the house. Which is unheard of. Pound, pound, three, three, two, eight, four, cent, okay. Negative 70. I'm sure I'm right next to the box, which is probably why it's so strong, but... Negative 60, that's some crazy strains. I mean, I, I get like one bar on it. In fact, it works with no bars, Shelvin. I'm in the middle of three counties. I'll show you what I get. I'll pull this out. Okay, I just pulled it out. Let's see how fast it goes down. Nothing. It's down 98. Oh, I guess a couple bars. Oh, there's one bar. Negative 97. Negative 101. This is in the house, but it's off. Okay, let me plug it in for you. This is Z. This is Z. It's upside down. But Z boost. Yeah, I got the antenna here. It's on, it's on a tower. This is a, maybe about 15 feet off the ground. Not even that high. 
So it got nine feet. There, just up and down. Busy, so we'll not shut off for you. The full strengths. That. Let's try the crackberry. Uh. Okay, now you see 4G on here. I gotta tell you that it, it says, says in our box that it doesn't amplify 4G itself. I don't think it's doing too good on AT&T either, does it? This is AT&T phone. It's like a one bar. Well, it works good on Sprint. It's still green light. Oh, something just got to sync up. Now this is yeah right. AT and T is TDMA. Do you think it has a problem mixing TDMA and CDMA? There's just no AT and T here, which might be it. Now there's some cell card, but there's nothing. Maybe. It won't amplify, there is nothing. You, know, you can't amplify nothing. If there's a little something, it'll amplify it. Okay, well, I guess there's no AT&T. 